gamers and welcome back to a new episode of my Dark Iron Dwarf leveling series. This is the first episode after the pre-patch of the War Within hit the live servers. And as I see, I have to make some quick adjustments. Getting my action bars back as one of the most important. What is accessibility? Move pad. Ah. Whatever. Graphics. Um, yeah, might might as well leave it like it is. And I have some talent points to reassign. <clears throat> okay, where are my talent points? I guess uh, Raging Blow increases the critical strike chance of your next Bloodthirst. Uh, is this what I wanted? Wait, where is the skill that my armor increases my strength? Is it still? Oh my god, this is... You know what? I'll make this a quick intermission episode where I simply realign, uh, re realign, reassign my talent points. So... I can take my sweet time and it just comes out parallel to another episode just because it will take quite a, a second i guess recklessness i do have raging blow is this, this is this one improved bloodthirst i don't know if i want to focus on bloodthirst but master increased by one percent and if you are enraged bloodthirst extends your enraged by 0.5 seconds uh, what is this? Swift strikes. Haste increased by 1% and raging blow and bloodthirst generate an additional 1 rage. That is pretty cool. I think I want this one. Um, anger management. Every 20 points of rage you spend increases, uh, decreases the cooldown of Bladestorm, Recklessness and Ravager. That's... Decent. Reckless abandon. Recklessness generates 50 rage and rampage greatly empowers your next bloodthirst and raging blow. Could this be interesting? Could this be interesting? I don't know if I want uh, recklessness to generate 50 rage, but it, you know, it could be cool. What is this? Odin's Fury. Unleash your power, dealing 5,700 damage and additional whatever over 4 seconds to all enemies within 12 yards. Generates 15 rage. That's pretty decent. I guess. Dancing Blades. Odin's Fury increases your auto attack damage and speed by 30% for 10 seconds. That's neat. Odin's Fury enrages you, deals 10% increased damage and grants you 4 stacks of Whirlwind. Just as uh, Whirlwind does. <clears throat> decent, decent. Ravager throws a... I, I want... How do I want... Ravager or Bladestorm? Throws a whirling uh, weapon at the uh, target location that chases nearby enemies, inflicting 10,000 physical damage to all enemies over 10.1 seconds. Uh, deals reduced damage beyond 8 targets. And this deals more damage has the same... Ooh, generates 10 rage each time it deals damage. This is a huge benefit. A huge benefit. And Bladestone becoming an unstoppable uh, storm of destructive force, striking all nearby enemies for 13,000 damage over... Ooh, this is much more bursty. You're immune to movement impairing and... Loss of control effects. Uh, but I cannot attack myself. So I have to plan in advance to spend all my rage. I'm, I think Ravager is the easier to use uh, variation of this. So I think I'll go with Ravager. And what is this? Bladestorm and Ravager's damage are reduced by 30%. But they now have two charges and generate 10 additional rage each time they... Deal damage. I don't know if I want this. More rage is always nice, but... I don't know. Unhinged every other time. 
Blade Storm or Ravage deal damage, you automatically cast a Bloodthirst at your target or random nearby enemy. This could be quite a nice uh, sur survivability and damage skill. Nice. Uh, Death Experience, Mastery. Okay, so that's a Mastery one. Onslaught, brutally attack an enemy for 4000 physical damage generates. Ooh. Oh. Onslaught enrages you, and if you have uh, slaughtering strikes, grants you three stacks of slaughtering strikes. Okay, what is slaughtering strikes? Do I have slaughtering strikes? I have no idea, honestly. Enrage regen regeneration? No, I don't have this picked. Bloodthirst always enrages you the first time you strike a target. Nah. Hmm. Bleed damage of Odin's Fury, Thunderous Roar, and Gushing Wounds increased. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. That's not too easy. Although Enrage re Regeneration lasting 3 seconds longer and instant healing of 10% of my maximum health sounds nice. Next one is Swift Strikes and then I go down this path. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Next one is here. Spell Reflection, Intimidating Shout. Honed reflexes, cooldown of enraged regeneration, pummel intervene, spell reflection, and storm bolt reduced by 5%. 15 seconds. Um, uh, cooldown reduction on uh, interrupt is pretty cool. I like it. And cacophonous roar, intimidating shout, and uh, can withstand 200% more damage before breaking. Uh, causes the target enemy to cover in fear. How long? For 8 seconds. Okay, Intimidating Shout uh, lets enemies cover in fear for 8 seconds. Honestly, this might be... Where is it? Where was Cacophonous Raw? Second Wind? No. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I just had it right in front of me. Nope. Yeah, that's cool. And Intimidating Shout will knock back enemies except your primary target and causes them all to cower in fear for 15 seconds instead of fleeing. Oh no. I have to make decisions again. I think I'll have to go with this one. Honestly, I have no real choice. Yeah, that, that's the right path. Uh, shockwave will be chosen. Reinforced plates for more armor. And then gain strength equal to 5 and then 10% of your armor. This will be used definitely later on. Uh, Berserker Shout uh, replaces Berserker Rage. Where's Berserker Rage? Do I have Berserker Rage? I mean, I'm pretty sure that I have. But I don't know what, where. And piercing howl snares all enemies. Go berserk, removing and granting immunity. Is this berserker rage? No, no, this is recklessness. Huh. Rumbling earth, shockwave. Uh, shockwave's range increased by 6 yards, and when Shockwave strikes at least 3 targets, its coolant is reset, uh, re uh, reduced by 15 seconds. I remember I liked this one. Overwhelming Rage. Increasing my maximum rage is amazing. Double time is something I want as well. What is this? Crushing Force. Bloodthirst deals an additional 5% damage. Nope. I'm not focusing on Bloodthirst for now. 
uh, barbaric training slime and whirlwind deal 20% increased damage and 10% increased critical oh, I'm, I'm covering my face that's rude <laughs> and no i think i go with sidearm i don't have my uh, old data from my previous fights so i don't have the opportunity to check how much it did so i think i'll go with sidearm i can switch it out effortlessly so i don't care what is this uh, seismic reverberation if whirlwind hits three or more enemies it hits them one additional time for 30 percent damage so it basically increases my whirlwind damage by 30 percent and this is concussion's blows cooldown of pummel reduced by one second successfully interrupting an enemy increases the damage you deal to them by five percent for 10 seconds Ooh, another cooldown reduction for my interrupt oh nice I think I'll go with a more AoE damage or a cooldown reduction of Pummel. Come on, I, I'll go with this one. And with armor of the armor, armored to the teeth. Nice. Now I do have Shockwave, and I'll put Shockwave on my. I can close this. I'll put Shockwave on my Shift E button to switch flying style. By the way, finally, I can use dynamic flight in old uh, in, in, with my other mounts. This is amazing. Uh, what am I? I should uh, charge. I do have charge. Why is it you haven't added this to your? I do have this. Okay, go berserk, removing and granting, moving and granting immunity to fear. So this is something I need. Shield, I need a shield for this, for these abilities. So I am not going to use them. But everything else I have found. Nice one. Okay, that's it for the quick. Where is it? Let me quick. Let me make a quick double check. Uh, I know that's nothing I am. Um, I, I should care about. 13k damage and uh, damage uh, XP. How much will you? No, that's something I will uh, uh, take a look at in the next episode. This episode was a quick intermission for my talent resets. And that's already it for this episode. I hope you liked it. It wasn't too eventful, but I thought I'd take you on my journey to talent allocations. So, as I said, I hope you liked it. Until the next episode, bye gamers.